Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to discuss three important things about the Arduino board when you're messing around with it. Number one is how to use a sensor and how to control your circuit using sensor values. Number two is how to use a serial monitor and have an idea about the values obtained from your sensors inside the Arduino board. Number three is how to control an external circuit depending on the values you got from your sensors. Now let's get into work. Okay, let's have a look at the things we need. The first thing we are going to need is the LDR. This is called as the LDR or the photoresistor. This is really, really sensitive for the light. It gives various values as the resistance values when light falls upon it. That's the first thing we need. And along with it, what we are going to need is the 1K ohm resistor. And next, I have three LEDs to be controlled, the red color LED, green color LED and yellow color LED and with each LED I have 220 ohm resistors. And the next thing I'm going to need is the Arduino board, the usual guy I'm always using. This is Arduino Uno board, the original one. And I'm going to need this which is the breadboard, the usual breadboard I'm using in most of my videos the long one and even if you have a shorter one never mind that's gonna work next thing i'm going to need is the cable to connect the arduino board with my computer i need few jumper connectors this time i'm going to use the male to male connectors so let's see how to make the circuit when i connect this ldr to my arduino board since i'm getting analog signals analog readings i need to give an additional resistance before I am connecting it to my Arduino board. So there I am going to put one pin in positive series here and the other pin in one of this series because I need to connect it with some additional resistance. So here I am going to connect this any pin, any pin goes here. So this pin goes for positive and this pin goes for the underneath series like this. And next thing I'm gonna do is grab the 1k ohm resistor and I'm going to hit it right here and right here very simple so from here I can take the negative value so also I can take the input to my Arduino board so how am I going to do it this white color thing I'm gonna use it as the positive connector so positive connector goes here simple from here I am getting the value to my Arduino board and same way this should be connected with the negative connection so I am not going to use any connectors there I am simply going to grab this thing up and hit it right there very simple so you don't need any other connectors so I have connected this back to the negative pin very simply and from here I'm getting the value to my board and next thing I'm gonna connect is the negative or GND so for GND I am using black so GND goes right here very simple as usual and next problem is connecting the LEDs you know how to connect LEDs so let's work with the LEDs with the resistors uh, as we did in Night Rider circuit and if you haven't watched it yet I recommend go watch it so there you can learn how to work with that
so my breadboard connections are done there and next thing I'm going to do is uh, connecting this with my Arduino board this is yellow this is red and this is green so let's uh, connect them in the particular order uh, to my Arduino board the yellow color goes with pin 2 and the red color goes with pin 3 and green color goes with pin 4 very simple and here I have the A series so from the board I took this code to give input from the photo resistor so I'm going to connect it in my A series to this A0 like this and these two connectors were used to give uh, positive and negative uh, the ground and the 5 volt so this one was the 5 volt and this one was the ground so let's connect them so white goes for 5 volts right here and black goes for ground pin right here so my entire circuitry is complete right there so next thing is how to make the program with this guy so let's get into work with that okay let's work with the code so the first thing I need to do is declare a variable uh, to hold my values uh, read by my LDR so I'm like int integer variable and I'm going to call my sensor as sensor so I'm saying sensor and after that equals I'm saying what port I should read to get uh, sensor values so it is a analog zero pin so I'm saying a zero and end of the code and after that I need to define the LEDs so I'm like hash define the first LED goes here so it's uh, yellow my sequence was yellow green uh, red so I'm saying yellow and the defined part is copied to the next line so green and I'm saying copied red and the uh, port sequence was 2 3 4 so I'm like 2 and I'm like 3 and I'm like 4 that's it so in the setup I have to uh, set up my serial monitor so I need to say serial the first letter goes with capital serial dot begin and after begin I need to keep a bracket and after that I need to give the bit rate within the bracket so this time I'm going to use 9600 as my bit rate so the next thing we need to do is declare the LEDs as output pins so I'm like pin mode same like earlier within the brackets I'm going to say yellow and uh, comma I'm going to say output output end of the code line with semicolon and I'm going to copy paste that part because I have uh, two more LEDs to go so one and two and this yellow is now changed to green and this yellow is changed to red that's it so the setup part is done with that and I'm going to the loop part so I need to print the values obtained by my sensor in a zero pin so for that for the more clarity I am going to declare another variable so I'm going to call it int and I'm naming it as x and x equals I'm going to analog read the sensor pin that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to assign that value inside x and I'm going to print x in, inside my serial monitor to observe the values so to do that I'm going to take analog read that's it and inside the bracket I need to give uh, what sensor or what port I am going to check this time I have called that port as sensor so I am saying sensor and end of the code with my colon so I need to print this inside my serial monitor so I am like capital S serial dot print ln why am I using print ln because print command is not keeping any uh, breaks for a next line right after the printing of uh, the value so print ln instead is printing the value and uh, takes the cursor into the next line 
so uh, continuously line break will be applied so observing my value will be uh, really really easy with print l and command then print so inside this i have to keep a bracket and i am saying uh, what to be printed so i need to print the value of x so i am like x and then semicolon so that's it so uh, let's give it a try uh, with compiling so before that i need to save this so i am going to save this as uh, light x as light experiment and i am going to save it saving done and compiling happens right here and it says done compiling and no errors so far and i am going to upload this and i am going to give a little uh, look in here right here uh, how it works so you can see already it's uh, lit up uh, with some sort of a code i have already uploaded to my arduino board so i'm going to upload the new program so this is uploaded now so uploading and done uploading and you can see the led turned off because of the new program and uh, ldr apparently taking the values already so i'm going to tools and here i have the serial monitor instead of going to tools you can say ctrl shift m as a key combination and you can get into the same result and you can see a uh, serial monitor works and it gives a con continuous value in between uh, 45 46 44 and that's the light level in my room i didn't apply any light levels to uh, make it more experimental and let's see when i apply some light in my ldr what happens so i'm going to use a small torch to do that and uh, here what happens when i increase the light level as you can see when light level is increasing this is going to 90s now and i'm increasing little more and it says 100 and uh, 50 60 something and i am taking that torch much closer and it gives me values uh, up to 308 and i am taking it even closer and now it gives values of, of uh, 500s so that's what this thing is capable of the 750 that's the value I'm getting as the maximum value with this torch, by the way. This is my phone torch. And you can see the difference when I take back the light off and uh, it gives somewhere around 40s. And if I can make it more darker, it will give uh, values like uh, zeros. So I'm going to use a small uh, pen lid and I'm going to cover up this LDR like this. And you can see as I cover up, it gives zero, which means there's no light. And when I open it a little bit, it gives back values up to 30s and when I give light it gives more values like uh, 200s, 300s and more closer will give 500s like that. So next thing I'm going to do is uh, writing up some uh, codes to control my LEDs. I have three LEDs to control and for that I'm going to use if condition. So let's try if condition here. I don't need this uh, serial monitor for a while. And uh, so I'm going to take a statement if and a bracket. And within the bracket, what I'm going to test is x. So x, when it is greater than 400. So I'm saying greater than 400. And curly braces taken. And inside that, I need to say what should I do. So I'm doing digital digital write and within the brackets i need to say which one is lit up so here i need to work with red one because uh, when the light is more than 400 i need the red color to light up so i'm saying red comma is high that's it so end up the code line by the semicolon and I am going to copy this and paste it two times to declare what happens to rest of two LEDs. So this LED is the yellow so I am saying yellow and yellow should be low at this case so I am saying low and this is green I am like green and green should go low as well so I am saying low and that's it. Uh, for the next one, I need to take else. So I am like 
else and I want to say if so if and uh, I need to take another bracket for my argument so here I am saying when x is more than 200 and curly braces obtained so here I am saying the same thing but with different states so red color is high here what I need is the green color to light up when it is more than 200 so I am keeping this one as low and the green color as high very simple and right after that uh, if my value in x is not exceeding 400 or 200 which means it's less than 200 so for that uh, just else would do the work so I am saying else curly braces and within the curly brace I am going to copy paste the same thing C V but this time it's uh, yellow should be lit up so yellow is high and green should be turned off so I am saying green is low very simple so for the first one red is lighting up for the second one green is lighting up for the third one yellow is lighting up my code is done I am compiling it so the compiling says done compiling and I am uploading it so uploading happens done uploading you can see the yellow color LED lit up uh, right now my room has a very low light intensity for the experiment so the serial monitor gives me a value like 30 for 30 definitely it is more uh, less than 200 so yellow should be lit up so for the control experiment I am going to use my torch for the light and I am going to increase it a little bit uh, more than 200 so I am giving light and you can see the value in the serial monitor is somewhere around 227 228 and that's more than 200 so LED green is lit up so I'm taking this torch uh, much closer to obtain some value more than 400 and when that happens you can see the red color LED lit up and my value is like uh, 412 so when I take it off the the light switches so by the light this thing works so this is a light uh, sensitive scale you can use the same practice to somewhere like if you need to automatically work uh, a light uh, depending on the sunlight out there in the environment this thing would work or else in my robot I am using a headlight system where uh, it senses lights and uh, when the outside light intensity is low uh, the headlights of the car automatically turns on and there is no bigger magic there I am using the same technique I have described right here so I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you learn something there right please put a subscription and uh, like our videos comment our videos and uh, share our videos and stay tuned we are coming with more robotic lessons which are very useful for you guys to carry on with your uh, robotic career and that's it for today goodbye friends and let's meet in next video very 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 soon